Ah. Yo, we talking about what? groceries on FBA. Ah. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey guys, Sean Mayo here, and I'm going to show you how uh, we do product research at Kohl's using tactical arbitrage. So we've created a, uh, a great list of every category on, on Kohl's, uh, including uh, the page to start on, the page you end on, the total amount of items, category names, and of course your category IDs to use in tactical arbitrage. Uh, this particular one has 1,208 categories for you. Uh, I know this is a highly requested uh, site, so I'm going to show you first how you can create them on your own, and then I'll, uh, I'll show you how to use and get our list. So if we, uh, we log in, if you go to Kohl's.com, where we are at right now, uh, the category example shows that you only need the number or it could be multiple ID numbers with the pluses between them. Uh, so we'll go over to Kohl's.com. And if we go to any of the categories... Just pick up the first one. We go to bath and then bath accessories. Shower categories. And uh, so as you can see here, it has, uh, we're in the shower caddy category and uh, this is your uh, your full URL. All we need is what is between the CN equals uh, and the and percent. So we're going to go ahead and copy that information from here and put it into tactical arbitrage and you post it there. Uh, now there's 82 products, uh, it pulls 60 items, uh, and every page on, on Tactical Arbitrage uh, will give you the directions, category examples, saying what they need. Some need URL, some just need this um, uh, a category ID in this case, and it will tell you how many products per page it does. So. In this example, uh, it's using 60 products per page on Kohl's. The Kohl's page is using 60 uh, products per page. And uh, as you can see here, there's two pages. Uh, so we're going to enter one for the start page, of course, and then two for the end page. And we're going to use our last filter settings and submit. And it's going to start doing your search. Uh, so that's all there is to uh, doing a product search for Kohl's. Now, if you, uh, if you want to do a bulk upload, you would click on Use Bulk, Upload New File, and you can download uh, a, a blank template where it says you can download an example here. And it's going to open up and look like this. Uh, and then you could just paste your, uh, your category ID from 1 to 2. Uh, as in that example, and and you could enter as many as you like. Uh, and then all you have to do is save it and upload it into the template. Uh, now, what we've done for you guys is made a uh, a made this so much easier. You don't have to go and find each category you want. We have gotten every category listed on Kohl's.com and we put it into a, uh, a file for you. So you can just select what you want. You can either do it from this page and create your own custom one or we've also created a bulk list 
using the template already done. So all you have to do here is select the ones you want. Uh, as you can see, it has the category ID to use with tactical arbitrage, the URL, uh, the short name of that title, and then the uh, of the category, and then a full path for the whole uh, category. So uh, it's not just belts; it's all products and accessories, accessories and belts, uh, and the total number of items and the amount of pages tactical arbitrage. Uh, needs to search, which is the items divided by 60 and rounded up to the next uh, page so you get those last uh, items. So if we use the bulk example, our bulk list, uh, we've already put this all together for you in the right format. So you just select whatever you want. We suggest you don't try and do all of them because tactical arbitrage at this time has a limit of 24 hours of searching. Uh, so you can't do all of the um, 1,208 categories in, uh, in a single search in 24 hours. So what we suggest you do is possibly uh, select you know, a subcategory, maybe do all the accessories, and then when that's done, start another one, or it'll get cut off, and uh, your full search won't be done. Uh, so, uh, just for the example, we're going to use uh, just these first 21 categories, and we're, so what we would do is just remove what you don't want to search, and then, uh, as you read at the top here, the category name, it can only have these three categories, like in the bulk example, all of these three columns. So the category name is just here for your reference, so you can decide what you want. Uh, and as it says, category name, you must delete column D before uploading. Uh, so whatever uh, searching um, and um, viewing you're using to view these files, just uh, you delete it, probably can right click and click on delete. Uh, depending on what um, tools you're using. And then we'll just save this file. Save that as a test. And then we can go back over to Tactical Arbitrage. Okay, so we're going to browse for that, select our file, click on Upload, and as you can see, here is the bulk list we uploaded with this um, test underscore and the random characters, which they add automatically. Uh, and we can click on Use Last Filter Settings. And then click on Submit. Now as you can see here, it's doing the search of all the ones that we selected. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Um, you can see all the ones that we did, uh, we've done so far by going to uh, gumroad.com slash Sean Mayo. Um, or you can always click on, um, I'll just close this one for now. But if you go to your main product search uh, page, if you can see right here that it says premium bulk list. If you click on that, that's going to take you uh, to a Google uh, Sheets that will have links to all of the files that we've done so far. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching, and let me know any new uh, sites that you'd like us to do, and we'll get to work on putting them together for you.